Now that I've split up my audio track into three distinct sections, let's look at adding music between those sections. This button here is how you access the loops. Here the loops come up. You have lots of different options. You can try some out. You have drum kits, pianos, fun sound effects, scroll through all sorts of things you can check out. Let's find something that works. My report is on band, so I'm going to look at what genres are available to me. And I see that jazz is an option, so I'm going to select jazz. Let's see what jazz hustle flute sounds like. I like it. Let's use that. All I have to do is click and drag it over right below my lead vocals. You don't want to put it up with the lead vocals. Put it below it. You're going to create a separate track. A track, when recording, is used to describe a separate audio source. First I have my vocal track, the words I spoke and recorded. Now I have this flute track. You can see the flute track automatically filled the entire space. But you see how it goes down, there are little divots in the region? This means it's one region that's looped multiple times. I can put my finger on the upper right hand corner of this region and just drag it all the way back. So that's only one instance of the flute. Now I'm going to move it to fill the space between my first two regions of vocal audio. You can see it overlaps a little, but I know by looking up here, let me zoom in, that the end of this first vocal region is silent. So this flute is going to start in silence. Let's hear what that sounds like. Play head back to the beginning and play. This is my project about the importance of practicing for band. Research shows that students who practice their band in not bad and even that final little flute hit almost happens during a pause in my speech in my second region of vocal audio so let me try adjusting that slightly and I can make it happen on purpose uh, let's try that research shows that students who practice their band instrument three to five I like it let me see if I can find another jazz sound to put between my second and third region of vocal audio. So I click the loops button. My jazz search is still there. Let's see. Let's see what a bebop fill is. Mm, just drums. I think I want a little more than that. That's kind of fun. Let's see what the saxophone sounds are. I think I'm going to go with that one, since the instruments in the middle school band include saxophones and flutes. So I will click on the sax hustle region. I'm going to make it its own track again below the flute. As before, I can pull this region back by clicking on the upper right, dragging my finger back. And now I can adjust the placement of this loop so that it falls between these different regions. Let's listen. Every other thing they do. Studies have also proven conclusively that this makes ice cream taste better. I might move that third region of vocal audio to the right a little bit so I can hear more of the saxophone before it comes in. Let's try that. They do. Studies have also proven conclusively that this makes ice cream taste better. That is my report on band. Thank you for listening. Cool. I think I'm going to go back to that bass groove for the, my exit music. So I click on it. I drag it out. I create a new track with it. It's going to be at the end here. Let's hear what that sounds like. Band. Thank you for listening. Good. I'm going to actually move this a little to the right so it doesn't overlap with my vocal audio. So I like that but I want to hear a little more bass before I end. So I click that region and just drag it to the right. What I'm doing is telling the project that I want a little more time. I can scroll. Now that I have a little more space, I can move it back. If I select that region, double click it, select loop, and now it goes longer. Thank you for listening. that's my project.